Well, my my first tennis memory was uh, when I played tennis and uh, when I first started. I was it was pretty late when I was eight. Uh, we were on vacation in Italy and my father asked me if I he was playing tennis if I want to try out. So I tried and felt pretty okay. Still wanted to become a soccer player so badly, so I didn't care so much. Well, that it's an individual sport that you decide by yourself. Um, win or lose and back then I didn't know that in soccer there's so many agents involved that you need to be lucky to be at the right club at the right time and I was becoming more successful in tennis so that's why I, I chose tennis. Still my dad I would say, I mean he was a very passionate tennis player and my parents have been driving me all over Austria to get to the tournaments to make my career happen and um, for sure my parents were the, were the kick-off start to, to have my career started, probably, yeah. Well, the older you get, the less it gets, a little bit. Um, it's more rehab then. No, no, um, I would say four to six a day. That makes it six days a week. Six times six, 36. Well, you always tell yourself, I mean, it's your job. You have to, I mean, other people work from probably seven to four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, you gotta go out there and work too. Um, there is no, you have to work hard in order to win matches and you know that once you have once, you know, be a little bit lazy and if you're lazy, you don't win as many matches and you don't wanna have that. So that's, that's why uh, you wanna be as professional as possible. We're in McDonald's. I love, I love my Big Mac. You always want to become number one. I mean, it sounds sleazy, but uh, when you're young and you do something, you want to become the best. And you, you see, I mean, we had a number one in our country. You saw how successful Thomas Muster was, and you grew up with your idols, and you want to be, you want to be like them. And most likely, your idols were number one, so that's why you want to become number one too.